Heidi ho it was a few days ago I posted a video about uh, canning turkey and I said on that video I was gonna make supper uh, out of well we had a couple of duds you know and uh, I'm not sure they were or not but we put them in the fridge and we're, you know so uh, <laughs> I messed up and I deleted the first part of it off of my camera but um, the idea was to start with wheat berries straight from the bucket. I don't know if you can, can you see that. Yeah, you can see it okay, probably. Let's see. They look like that. Okay, yeah, that's better. And then I took uh, and ground them in my uh, Corona grain mill. It doesn't grind very fine. It'd be nice to have a, one of the expensive ones, but so it's going to be a goofy video we made supper and we were just messing around but what the heck i thought i'd show it to you and it turned out really good and tasty so we'll uh yeah watch this okay so it takes me about to took me 11 minutes to run that was actually three cups of wheat so it's probably too much We'll see. And it comes out kind of coarse out of the Corona Mill. That's why I'd like to have one of the more expensive ones. But for the price, it does pretty good. And uh, so now uh, what I usually do is sift it. So uh, another bowl here. Old-fashioned hand sifter. No, uh, no electrical outlet. Okay, Mrs. Go to Hollow's helping me now, and this is what I wind up with about that much uh, nice fine flour. Took me about oh six or seven more minutes to set that. And then you wind up with this coarser material. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, if I was doing bread, I would probably just leave it in, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll. Uh, Try making some hot cereal out of it. I don't know though. A clean, a clean colon's a happy colon, I guess you'd say. Well, uh, maybe I'll give it to the chickens too. Who knows? We'll see. But uh, that was about uh, two and a half cups, three cups of wheat berries. We'll uh, get set up for the next phase, and then I'll uh, come back and show you that. I was talking to somebody on Skype the other night, and I can't remember who it was, if it was Skybird or I don't think it was Cat's Cradle, but I told them I had a pasta machine and they didn't know what they looked like, so here it is, that's what they are, wherever you were, I can't remember, but... Uh, this is a non-electric form, they do have electric forms of them also. Oh yeah, Mrs. Goodhall says they have electric ones, but if you're a prepper who... Who needs them, right? So uh, now uh, the pasta machine, the instructions say uh, like uh, 125 grams of wheat, and I don't know what that comes out to um, in cups. <laughs> We're gonna wing it. Uh, I've done it. I've used it before, and I can't remember. It's been a little while. So uh, yeah, we make spaghetti and stuff every once in a while. And, we kind of decided we're going to start doing a lot more of that, so um, it's uh, 125 grams of wheat to one egg. I'll uh, be right back and show you that. I'm really kind of winging it. So I'm going to start off with one cup of flour. i got two eggs here. We'll start with one. Yes, Dr. Seuss, there are green eggs. And see how it goes? I, I know I know what consistency it needs to be, so once I get it figured out, I think I'll write it down in the book. Something to start with. Okay. 
Okay, that's plenty of flour for sure. I think. Put the other egg in and see. Yeah, I know. You're supposed to crack them into a separate bowl. Okay. Take a chunk off of here. Get rid of that. Over to the sink. Too dry. I think it's not sticking together. I just take it over. Yeah. Add water. Okay, yeah, so we're winging it a little. <laughs> Getting there. I'm gonna run it through two or three times. Oh, it shouldn't be sticky like that. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. It's a real life, folks. Man, we don't normally have this much trouble. Yeah, we do. <laughs> this is fun to play with now. I might cut this out. I'll be back. Yay, I got it. I found the right consistency. Okay, so here's the cool part. Put it on this side. And yay, we made it work. I was afraid this was going to be a fail video. So all we got to do is boil these up. And we got a little stock going, turkey stock, with some, uh, we'll put some uh, cornstarch in it and the turkey from uh, the can over there. Okay, Mrs. Goat, sorry this is so choppy, folks. Mrs. Goat Hollow says, to be sure and remind you, to salt your pasta water because it's the only time you get to put salt, uh, salt in your pasta and uh, you know pepper and uh, all the other any sage any other garlic. spices gar okay garlic what else sage garlic pepper pepper stuff. sage garlic yeah. and then we'll kind of do a taste test and see if it needs the seasons needs adjusting season to taste the garden really sucked last year because, well, the weather was crappy all spring. It rained and rained, but mostly because my uh, work schedule, I was really busy. But uh, so we didn't have any carrots straight from the garden, but 
We got two or three cups, or two or three cups, two or three cases in the pantry. So I guess this is still a meal all from preps. I put a can in there. So there's our turkey. If we got some stock, and this is goat hollows over here measuring out some uh, cornstarch to thicken things up. I have to stock up on a little bit more of that. I gotta figure out how to make it. But, uh, I don't know. That's like 50 cents worth, so maybe I'll get a bucket full, huh? And the noodles this came are. From the Amish store. Yeah, it came from the Amish store. And it is one and a third pounds, and it cost us 56 cents. Yeah, we'll get a bucket full. <laughs> Yeah, the noodles are coming along. I just tasted one. They're really good. So, yeah. And we're just about done. We'll put it all together. In goes the cornstarch. You mix the cornstarch in cold water first. Yeah, otherwise it won't yeah. thicken correctly. Right, it lumps right up. Yeah. Let me try that and yeah. see. See, Looking good, huh? So our supper all from preps is almost done. Turkey and noodles. Noodles ought to be about done. Yeah, we're done. Okay, well, we're going to make some more of the cornstarch mixture. I don't think I got it thick enough. Kind of hearty noodles, but they're good. <laughs> See how things turn out for me in the morning. <laughs> That's nice. It's gonna be hot. You know, it comes to its thickest when it's boiling. That's kind of thin for me, so. You could have just done this by making a roux and working. Yeah, flour, with the roux, flour, and flour and water and butter and add some more stock. of that hearty whole wheat grain. That's going to get us about to the point. There where we, we go. Want that to go. looks pretty good. Okay, there you go. Turkey and noodles, all from preps. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll get through this.